close your eyes and make yourself comfortable. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in through your nose and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. One more time, deep breath in and slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. And just relax. And with every breath you take from now on, you feel calmer and much more peaceful. And you'll feel like you're breathing in pure peacefulness. And each time you breathe out, you let go of all the negative thoughts you've been carrying around. So once again, take another deep breath in, breathing in pure peacefulness. Now breathe out all of the negative thoughts and just let them go. One more time, breathe in pure peacefulness. Now breathe out all of the negative thoughts. Now you're feeling very calm, very peaceful, and very, very relaxed. Now imagine yourself on a beautiful winding path deep in the heart of a wonderful enchanted forest. The ground beneath your feet is solid but soft and it's made from the fallen leaves from the trees. Can you feel it under your feet? Does it feel crunchy and noisy? Or does it feel soft and quiet as you walk on it? You can feel a gentle breeze on your face as you walk along the path and you can feel the warmth of the sun all over your body. It's ever so peaceful here. You look up to the very tops of the trees and you see glints of sunlight shimmering upon the leaves, making them look like tiny silver stars. You hear a rustling sound in the distance. You look around. What is it, you wonder? You look again, and out of the corner of your eye, you see movement. You focus on it and realize that those rustling sounds you hear are the sounds of a big ginger cat. And it's a big cat. Now this big ginger cat is standing upright. You know, kind of like Puss in Boots does. He has on big leather boots. What can only be described really as biker boots. They even have a shiny buckle on them too. He has on a leather cap with sunglasses perched on top of it. He has big leather gloves and a big leather belt around his waist. Suddenly, he looks up and he sees you and he smiles and he says hello. He asks you, if you've seen a shiny brass key, he's dropped it and now he can't find it. He introduces himself and tells you that his name is Marvin. And he asks you if you would like to help him find the key. Well, of course, you say yes. And then you tell him your name. The two of you rummage around in the undergrowth for a bit when you see something shining in the grass. Is this it? You ask as you hold out the key to him. Fantastic, he says. That's the one. Because you've helped him, he asks you if you would like to join him and his friends for the day. They are going on a bike ride together. Of course, you say you would love to. So you follow Marvin, the big ginger cat, as he leads you out of the forest and into a lovely big field. And at the edge of this field, there is a small village and Marvin tells you that this is where he and his friends live. 
Now this village is not an ordinary village. All of the buildings are high up in the trees and they don't have roads well as such. They have rope pathways, big enough to walk on and surely big enough to ride on too. There are rope ladders hanging down from some of the trees and you both climb up together. And as you climb, you notice how different all the buildings are. You see houses, you see shops, you see a school and even a library. It's fascinating up here. You see lots of other cats going about their daily business, chatting to their friends, having fun. Marvin brings you to a little tea shop where he is meeting his friends and they're all sitting there outside at the table waiting for him. Marvin introduces you and tells him about you and how you helped him find his key because without his key he couldn't go on a bike ride with his friends. There are three other cats who are all dressed in leather outfits too. Susie is dressed in a red leather and she's a big white fluffy Persian cat. Steve is a tortoise shell cat and he's dressed in a very striking blue leather outfit. And then there is Bob, who is a black and white moggy, dressed in a silver leather outfit. And all of these cats all stand on two legs, just like you. Marvin then says, let's go. So you all walk around to the back of the building. You are so excited. You think you're going to ride on a motorbike. How great is that? You think to yourself, cats that can talk, cats that can ride bikes. Wow, what a wonderful place this is. You get back to the back of the building and stop. And you see there are five bicycles, all with safety locks on them. And there is even one for you too. Marvin takes out his key and unlocks his bike. And you just smile to yourself and think, oh well, never mind. I can always ride a motorbike when I'm older. The five of you climb on your bikes and you set off. And you ride on the rope paths. It's a bit wobbly, but it's fun. Steve says, let's go to the bike park for the day. So Marvin leads the way. After a short while, you come to the bike park now this park is built just like a skateboard park. It has the same jumps and the same up and down ramps. So for a while, ride your bike on the ramps with Marvin, Susie, Steve and Bob. Enjoy having fun with them and see how fast you can ride your bike. It's going to be amazing.
Wow. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? You all decide you need a drink now, because you're very thirsty after all that riding. And maybe you can have a big cream cake too. At the end of the bike park is a little cafe. So you all sit down and get your drinks and cakes. And then you all chat away very happily. You talk about the daredevil stunts you've just done. And you love being here with your new friends. You really enjoyed riding with the cats. And it's been the most exciting day ever. After a long while, you realise that it's time for you to go home now. And Marvin says he will guide you back to the forest where you met him. So you say goodbye for now to Steve, Susie and Bob and tell them you will come back again soon. You are now back in the forest with Marvin and he tells you that he and his friends have had the most wonderful day with you and he really, really hopes you will come back again soon. He says next time you can all go skateboarding again or maybe swimming because they have an incredible swimming pool and you thought cats didn't like water. Well, these cats do. He tells you it has a great big wave maker. And he says it's like swimming in the sea, but better. You say, well, I look forward to that, Marvin. But for now, you say goodbye to Marvin and begin your walk back home. You feel so peaceful, so calm and so relaxed. And yet at the same time, so happy and joyful. You are so happy to have met Marvin, the biker cat, and his friends, and you can't wait to come back again. Suddenly, you realise that you are now back in your own bed. How did that happen? Well, you're feeling very sleepy now anyway. After all, you've had a very busy day. So snuggle down, Close your eyes. You can always come back again to see Marvin and his friends. But for now, take a gentle breath in and slowly breathe out. You're drifting deeper and deeper into the most wonderful night's sleep. And you feel so safe, so protected, and you know you are so very very loved and when you wake up in the morning you will feel completely refreshed bright and alert ready to begin your new day ahead so good night sleepy one sleep well